Big Brothers Big Sisters of America has many opportunities where you can help enrich the life experiences of young people. Hello, I'm Candace Kelly and our guest Pam Iorio is here to explain how her organization is shaping our youth. Hello and thank you so much for being with us today. It's great to be with you. There's so many areas, whether it's school, whether it's community, whether it's work, where there are mentors, where there are big brothers and big sisters. Let's talk a little bit about some of those opportunities because people may not know that work specifically, there are many employers who invite people to come to their workspace and, and they learn the, the do's and don'ts of being a good employee. Exactly, and that's what's so exciting about the Big Brothers Big Sisters model. You know, the model's been around for 111 years. We are the nation's oldest mentoring organization. But as with any organization, you change with the times, new ideas, innovations, so we basically have three forms of mentoring. Uh, one is community-based mentoring, where you're matched, you become a big sister to a little, and you will go to her home, pick her up, go out on activities once a, however often, maybe once a month, once a week. Uh, so that's called community-based mentoring. Another is school-based mentoring where you go to uh, the little school and you, after school, might sit with her, help her with her schoolwork, talk about the school day. So you form that relationship at the school. The third, and I think it's emerging and it's becoming ever more popular throughout our network, is workplace mentoring. And that's really a private public, this is the private uh, nonprofit partnership here because you have a private company that funds the local Big Brothers Big Sisters agency. Big Brothers Big Sisters also works with the school system. So let's say you identify a class of 30 students, you bus those children to the workplace, mm -hmm. a company, at the workplace, uh, there's a big for each of the littles. Oh, wow. So you still, so you still have get a that. Pair. You still get paired. But the extra benefit is that your little gets to see a professional work environment. Wow. And that might be once a week, might be once a month, because there's a whole curriculum developed around it. So you're exposing people to different careers, but at the same time, they get to have someone that's older and help guide them in various areas of their life, one of them being the workplace. Exactly. And you know, the interesting thing, as I've been in this position now for about two years, and you learn so much all the time about it, but. Uh, a lot of times people will say to me, you know, I'd like to be a mentor and sign up to be a big, but I'm not sure what I would do. I mean, how am I supposed to be a mentor to someone? Am I supposed to be specifically trained, or wh what do I do with the, the young person? Or they say it's a time issue. Well, and it is a time issue for all of us who are very busy and have busy lives of our own. So um, the nice thing about the workplace mentoring is that it takes that out of the equation a little bit, you know, because the little is coming to your workplace. It's during your work time, right. and it's, it's already set what you're going to do. You're going to show that little what you do, answer their questions, introduce them to your colleagues. I mean, I mean, who knows what interest that could spark in someone. I mean, for, for many young people today, you know, you can talk about become an engineer, become an architect, uh, go into television, but if they've never seen that world, and if they don't know anyone who is an engineer, who is an architect, right? Right. How are you supposed to really say that's what I want to be? And so uh, I really think that this is something that we encourage the private sector to call their local Big Brothers Big Sisters agency and say, hey, we're interested in workplace mentoring. What does that entail? Because right. I can assure any CEO who's listening right now, it will benefit their employees every bit as much as it's benefiting the littles. Absolutely, and it gives the employees an opportunity to work together on something. Exactly. And in terms of, you know, getting involved, is it that simple that a CEO can give you a call? I mean, and what's the, the timing in terms of when you might get those 30 young people to come to your office? Right. It takes a real commitment on the part of a company because they have to pay. You know, there is a, there is a contribution towards this because none of this is for free, right? The Big Brothers Big Sisters Agency has to, uh, uh, you know, no one becomes a big without extensive background check. Right. Uh, you know, in interview process, we want to make sure that you're match properly. There's a match support specialist who's assigned to each match. Uh, there's going to be a curriculum person who's going to set up this entire uh, weekly or monthly activities. There's coordination with the school board. There's a bus. There's lunch. You know, so obviously it takes a monetary commitment on the part of the company. But I think most importantly, it takes a commitment on the part of the CEO that mentoring is an important value of the company. All right. Well, good information, and hopefully, someone who's calling, someone who's watching, will give you a call and join up and be a part of this workplace, especially this workplace system that you have. Good Thank to see you. you. Great to chat with you. Absolutely.
Pam Iorio, thanks once again. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly.